Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world away. And we now got issue two of Fan Home's release of Build the Iron Man Mark III Armour. <laughs> Now, just bringing you up on speed to this, this is issue two. In issue one, we actually created the iconic helmet, which looks just like that. And if I uh, operate that, you can see the lights turning on there. As a matter of fact, I'll show you on my uh, top camera there. And that's what we did in issue one. Now, what I'll do is I'll put the uh, video for that just up here. So if you're on a PC or phone, you can link to that video and you can watch issue one. But if you want to get hold of this yourself, I'll put the link down here to Fan Home. It's just fanhome.com and you'll be able to order this yourself. I'm not sure what territories is in at the moment, but uh, definitely in the UK. And I believe it's some uh, countries in Europe at the moment as well. Uh, but let's show you what we're doing in issue two. As you can see, this is the magazine. I'm just gonna go through the magazine because we haven't really done that and just show you some of the uh, features in here. Basically talking about Iron Man as he appears in the comics there. And then we've got all the instructions how we're building the boot. Now, this is the inventory list. We're gonna follow the instructions. So at the end of this, we've got a working boot with its own switch, which lights up just like the helmet does as well. But uh, the next issue when we do this, we're going to be doing one of the hands and then i believe in issue four we're going to be doing the arc reactor I've got one of them sitting over there as you can see that so uh, a lot of the iconic things being done right at the very start of this build it's absolutely fantastic but uh, can't wait to build this so without further ado let's get cracking okay so the first thing we need is the boot looking just like this and the ankle joint looking just like this now i'm just seeing which way they want the ankle joint to go in they seem to have it in this way round so i'm going to follow that so that the larger side is facing me as i put it in fit the ankle joint cover 2l in place with four em screws so we need the cover for that which looks just like this and that's just going to go over the top holding this in just like that we need four screws there they're going into metal they're em screws i'm going to drop some oil into this because uh, i don't trust the paint in here i think there's going to be some paint in those threads so this is just a three in one oil so keep that lined up and we'll put four of these screws in that's the first one it around so I think I've actually just put that in a little bit too tight nope that's okay there's the second one two more I've actually built this before in the trial so uh, I can't believe I don't remember things <laughs> three and the last one loading it up here and there we go, that's number four. So the cover's in place just like that, and that enables this to move to the left and to the right. Right, we need the LED assembly now, which has basically got a bulb, uh, looks like a, a push switch here, and the compartment for the batteries or the battery just there as well. And the first thing we need to do is push the switch just onto the little hole we can see at the top of the boot there Let's see if it goes in a specific way it goes in with the wires facing towards the inside of the boot so that's in just like that and then we also need to put the battery box in so i'm going to hold that with my finger and the battery box is just going to go into the space that we can see just behind it here it's going to be held in with an am screw so i'll line that up just like that I've got an AM screw here again going into metal I'm going to put a little bit of oil in there and way hey, screw that in ah. <laughs> I keep falling off the end of my screwdriver there we go and that's the battery box in which allows me as I said we've got the switch on the top there we've got the battery box just there okay so we can put all of that to one side now we haven't had anything to do with that lamp yet but that's probably what's coming next we're going to take 
the uh, bottom of the boot looking just like that. And we've got a screen to put in here. Basically, this is the diffusing screen here. That's just gonna go into the circular area that you can see just there. So I put in just like that. We're gonna hold that into place just with this uh, lamp holder here. That's just gonna go over the top just like that and gonna be held in with AM screws, which I've already got here, so that's handy. Put some oil in there. It's very weird, this build, that we're doing a lot of the iconic things now. I'm just wondering what's gonna be in store for the rest of the build. Is it gonna be all building arms and body? Because the arc reactor is number four and number three is the um, a hand. So that should look like that. We're then going to take the bulb that's coming off of this control board here. And that's just gonna go into the top of that section we just put in, pushing that in all the way. And then we're gonna be marrying these two together. Just making sure I put this in the right way. So that's gonna go in kind of, I don't wanna trap any wires over any section here, but that's gonna go in just like that so it's nice and flat it's looking like a boot now isn't it we're going to hold that in place with two am screws that's why they've sent me so many am screws here so one at the back there we go and one just at the front here bit of oil and we put that one in just there And there we go, that's the uh, boot looking like that at the moment. Right, then we've got a toe joint to put in. Now that is gonna be going into these holes that we can see either side here and here. It's gonna be going on kind of like that. Uh, but we do need a washer. So these go on here. One's gonna be on the other side here. And then we're gonna slide this into place. So now that's clicked into place, looking like that. That was interesting. We're gonna be putting a CM screw just in there. <laughs> so we put the first one in. Now I've got to make sure that this is centered, which is gonna be quite hard now, actually, I reckon. There we go. Just uh, making sure that one's gone in okay, which it has. I'm gonna straighten that screw up though. I'm not happy with that screw. I am now. So that's one side in and we'll put the cap back in. The other CM screw in here. There's only three more bits left to put in this. So it's almost finished. Here's the second one. That's going in a lot better. So that's not falling out. And then once again, we'll put the cap on that. So there we go. That's definitely not falling out that side and that side there. Now we're gonna be putting the sole in place just at the bottom here. This is the sole that we're gonna be putting on. The sole of the build, just there. We're gonna be holding that in with two screws here. Once again, these are AM screws. Bit of oil used a lot of oil on this one. We'll get this one screwed in. That's the first one in. And put the second one in. Just like that. Nice and tight. There we go, that's going nowhere. It's looking very boot-like, isn't it? Uh, two more sections left to put in. We're gonna be putting the uh, battery in now. I think it is the large, the large side goes towards the battery, but we'll soon find out when the light, oh yeah, it does, that's cool. I'm just gonna put the uh, cover in for the battery that looks like that. That just goes in like this here. And we're gonna hold that in with a screw, and that is an EP screw. They do give us spares for each of these screws. So I've got two of them, I only need one. 
So that's just going to go in here like that. All the way down. And then as you see, this last piece here has got a magnet on it, so it's just going to fit over this section in to hold itself in. And that is the completed boot looking like that. Now if you want to see it light, what you do is you press the button here. As you can see, the bottom lights up, which looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> and then you can put this back on and uh, think about the weight of this again, times this by two hands, two feet, the legs, the head. It's going to be a heavy old thing, this is. But that is issue two of the Iron Man complete. And there you go, that looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> Just for size. It's, it's helpful to hold it up against myself so you can actually see it, but uh, it's quite heavy as well. Uh, so basically, we've got a boot and a helmet sorted out. <laughs> pretty cool uh, but that was today's video so I really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care